What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today, finally once again in the Logic City, and I know this map has been a while since we've actually looked at it and we've actually done anything with it, but uh, I promise today we're finally back in the city, and I, if you guys saw my last video where I was looking at the custom rail assets on the terrain pieces, I had mentioned that maybe we should look at taking the rail assets and combining them with the Logic City and making sort of one map. Uh, the one problem I have with the Logic City is that it is a very large city, and as I walk around on the city, there's issues with, for example, the terrain bouncing because of all the block interactions. And I thought it might be really nice to have, now that we actually have a custom world editor, to make a custom world that has some stuff. But uh, my bus is here, so we're just gonna we're just gonna get on the bus here real quick before it before it leaves. We'll just uh, sit in the back here. Very nice. This is the new automated bus system for the Logic City, and so this took a while to work on, mainly because the bus is a very, very big pain in the butt to get to turn corners. Uh, the actual front wheels and the back wheels both had to rotate. Plus, the other problem I was realizing too after working on this for a long time was that the bus itself has to have a slightly more than one block ground clearance. So you'll see when we take this corner uh, just how close the front of the bus comes to clipping. You can see very, very close and then just sliding in the back there. But it does work quite well. It gets into the corners. And again, with the way that the scrap mechanic physics are, sometimes it doesn't perfectly line up with the corner and uh, it does sometimes hit the curb a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty good. And uh, this bus, just following a predetermined route, should be turning right here. There we go. And just going every time between this predetermined route, taking 14 different turns, uh, rights, lefts, all sorts of things, straights. And basically, it just follows the intersections, and then whenever it sees a blue bus stop, it will stop at the bus stop for 10 seconds, wait, and then it'll get back going. It doesn't do any sort of, uh, there's no, like, call buttons or anything like that. I know with, like, a normal city bus, the bus is only going to stop if it sees people, and then it's only going to stop at a stop if you're in the bus and you say, hey, I want to get off at this stop. But just to make things easier, plus the fact that there's no actual people on the world, I decided, you know what, we're just going to have it stop at every bus stop, wait for 10 seconds, and then keep going. So you can see we'll get to this stop, it'll wait, open the doors, and then we'll keep going. So I'm a really big fan of this design. I think it's really, really cool. It's really awesome. And I do want to actually remake the AI city here, the Logic City, onto a new map with new train, with train pieces as well. I think adding trains in would be just an awesome asset. We could have uh, all sorts of different things going on there with the train pieces. But I think when we do redo it, I am going to keep the grid size the same. I know a lot of you guys have made some epic buildings. I do want to expand the roads, make them wider. But I'm going to keep the grid size the same and just reduce the size of the sidewalk. Plus get rid of these signposts on the corners. I still need the signposts on the corners. I think they're useful for figuring out what street you're on and that sort of thing. Um, but I think we can make them a lot smaller than they are and move them a little bit further away from the corner because you can see there that is just extremely close almost clipping that and I do it does occasionally run into issues where the bus will in fact clip that signpost on the corner. This last corner coming up here is usually the doozy for some reason it uh, it always wants to clip this corner so it's going to turn left here and then it's going to go right to complete the route and hopefully it doesn't clip it always seems to like to clip this corner even though every corner is identical oh there we go perfect excellent and so you can see there getting this last corner straightening itself back out in the lane and now we should turn right at this corner and turning right perfect excellent look at that and now we'll just stop again at this stop here so you can see it does kind of sway a little bit back and forth in the lanes and again scrap mechanic physics aren't exactly perfect even though the mechanism to turn is the same for every corner but overall guys i really really like this design now it does take a lot of work for this design to set up so i don't really want to upload it to the workshop there's a, a lot of stuff that needs to happen when you want to reset this on the lift so you have to take it on the lift you have to hold a bunch of buttons and all sorts of things it's really a pain in the butt and you have to put it down at a very specific spot in the city so it doesn't have any sort of left or right turn adjustments. It's it's set up for a very specific route, and it'll always follow that same route over and over again. And so we can't exactly just go and change it. But the cool thing about this bus is we can actually just kind of walk around in it 
while it's doing its thing, and it shouldn't cause any issue. Oh boy, just a little bit nauseating there, tossing us into the corner. But overall, I know a lot of people were wondering what was happening to Logic City, and I do want to see what you guys think, so let me know in the comments down below, just like with the train video. It did seem with the train video, though, that a lot of people were swaying more towards the side of, you know, let's put them on the same map, let's make one awesome terrain edited map, and, and just have everything go all like that, but... This uh, this build here, definitely a very complicated one. It took way too long to work on, and uh, it's really just, it's quite awesome, though, to have. And it does have collision sensors on the front, of course, so if you uh, were running into another bus, it would stop and just wait. We can actually, we can actually do that. It should just, hold on, we'll just, um, we'll get out here. So if we stand right here in front of the bus, it shouldn't move, I hope. I think. Yeah, so you can see there, it closed the door, but it's just waiting. So if there was another car in front of here, it wouldn't be an issue. And then as soon as we move out of the way, it'll it'll go back to continuing its route. And now we'll, uh, we'll try and run and catch the bus on the other side. All right, so I think the next bus stop's way out there in the middle of the field. There's always one bus stop that's in the middle of the field for some reason in every city. I don't know why, it just is that way. All right, we're going to get to this bus stop here, and we'll just wait for the bus. You don't have to actually sit in the seats. I mean, we could set this up with sensors and, you know, have a, a blue plate, for example, that moves closer to the intersection. Right now, it's just seeing the blue. So, obviously, if we had a blue building within, I think, six blocks of the sidewalk, then, you know, it would just pick that up as a, a street sign. And it actually has to go past. You can see when it hits the blue sign, the sensor actually goes past the blue sign. And it does that so that when it starts up again, it doesn't continue to see... The blue signs you can see there here's the sensor that's actually detecting where we need to stop oh let's just get on the bus again yeah perfect and uh it'll go past the sign before it stops the vehicle just to make sure that when we start up the vehicle again we're not looking at a blue wall if we were looking at a constant blue wall it would just continuously over and over again try and keep opening and closing the doors in one spot which just really wouldn't work out but overall the hardest part of this build was making a bus that could actually take these very, very tight corners. So this is a very, very tight city grid. And uh, again, part of the reason why if we expand this and make a new map with it, I want to take the streets and just widen the streets out a little bit. Just make the sidewalk narrower and uh, include more of the street just to make it a little bit easier to actually navigate bigger vehicles. Especially if we start getting into looking at trucks and that sort of thing. Um, definitely would love to put automatic trains in. Oh, you can see there. We've been taking a bunch of corners, but uh, it didn't take this corner correctly, and now we are going to probably drive off the road. Yeah, we're going to get into the wrong lane. Oh, this is good. So now we're basically screwed because we're driving in the wrong lane, and all the sensors are designed to only pick up the one side. So we can get this front seat here. We'll just turn this off. And uh, yeah, no, the doors get jammed shut. Perfect. So like I said... I don't know why the scrap mechanic physics are like that. I mean, we're moving very, very slowly. So normally if you move slowly across terrain pieces, it works out quite well. Um, but this bus, when we want to reset it, we actually have to put it in a very specific spot. So we have to put it over here. And that's sort of indicated by this blue with the black stoplight there. And this just indicates really the start of the route. So we kind of put it there, then we hold this button, and that should reset everything. If... Um no, I didn't do it quick enough. You got to kind of do it quickly. There's there's a whole bunch of stuff going on there. And we got to reset the instructions. Plus, we also have to reset all the turning. There we go. That should be good. Yeah, and then if we look up on top, perfect. And then we can just, you know, either we can get in that seat and hit the switches. All of the buttons are hooked into that seat as well as the manual control. Or we can just hit that green switch. And then the bus will continue. So with Scrap Mechanic, the cars are actually a lot better. The uh, Over there, you can see we've got the junkyard of all the old car models that we've designed for this city. And the cars actually work a lot better than this bus does. And the reason why is because of the precision of the turns that is required. So when you're working with the cars, they have a lot more space in the laneway. And so when you're turning, they just have to kind of make it between the lines. But with this bus... You can see we have to overshoot the line and then we have to come back in and it has to be almost exact just because of the size of this bus. If you're off ever so slightly, there's sensors to kind of correct you and keep you centered between the lines, between the white line and the sidewalk. But if you go all the way over the sidewalk, there isn't a sensor to sort of bring you back in. And if we had wider street corners, we could go closer to the curb and just have a little more tolerance on either side for the, for the bus to move. But... 
Of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below, but I would like to remake this city for sure, and uh, I think I'd like to make the city with maybe uh, 20 grid pieces, so like, you know, 20 different individual buildings, and go through all the building submissions that, uh, that you guys sent in, and just look at, you know, possibly taking 20 of them and making an actual city in the center of a map, and then having, you know, trees and stuff like that around the outside of the map, we could have rails and all that sort of thing, and really just make one great sort of interactive town map that has not only the logic and the automa automated stuff, but also has cool things like trains and automated trains as well. Maybe even some planes and stuff like that. Who knows? Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to do automated planes, but regardless, it would be really cool to have one kind of map that has it all. And I, I love this AI city and I like working on these projects, but they are very, very time consuming. And uh, I want to have the train type stuff as well. And I really enjoy doing the train stuff as well, but I don't want to have my time split. You can see between two different things. I don't want to have a train world and a city world and then just be stuck trying to figure out, do I do this one? Do I do that one? Uh, you know, it would be nice to do them both all at the same time. So, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm going to keep riding this bus. I mean, there's not really much to it. It just kind of rides around. It is very, very consistent. I mean, it's, it's screwed up once now in a bit. I think with the wider streets, it would help a lot. The cars, there's an automatic scheduled car as well, which I, I think I deleted the route for. But... The automatic scheduled car didn't screw up nearly as often as this bus does. Uh, this bus is usually pretty good, but the car is definitely a lot better. Again, just having more space to work with. I know it's been a long time since we've done an AI city build. I do have to apologize. I want to make sure you guys know I haven't forgotten about these projects. I do enjoy all the automated stuff, obviously. Still a big fan of these automated projects, and I hope you guys are too. Of course, doing other things with the bus would be cool too. For example, the ability to change the route. Uh, this one's a 14-step route, so it can only go through 14 intersections. We could make that much, much longer. That's what those bits there on the roof are doing. They store each individual position, and as they pass the intersection, it changes over to the next route. Uh, same way the, uh, the scheduled car did it, um, but again, it would be nice to have one that you could change the route on. Or a bus that has like a central control location with a remote control. You know, stuff like that. There's all sorts of different things we could do. Should have some bus numbers too, right? But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm really, really happy with this build. It's really awesome to just watch it go. And there it goes. Hopefully it'll make it back. I know it's been a long time just since we've gotten, you know, this bus finished. It started in a stream and was one of those things that just, you know, kind of went on the uh, back burner for a bit. But I'm definitely back at this kind of stuff and working on these logic things. So let me know, of course, what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you all next time. All right, let's, uh, let's just kind of get back on the bus. There we go. Perfect.